Welcome back. I am doing another random module game on VCV Rack, and uh, this time I modified the rules a little bit. I don't have to randomize the settings on one of them. That was kind of uh, pointless in the last one, so I took it out. But I still can if I want to. So the only rules now is that my patch must contain only three modules, and two of them are randomly selected, and the third one is chosen by me. And the same goals, just make a sound and understand what each module does. Pretty simple. Let's do it. All right, so we have volt res comb. It's a resonant comb filter and a one by eight voltage controlled switch. Okay, so I think I know what a resonant comb filter does, but a one by eight voltage controlled switch, what is this? Okay, so you have a signal in and then you have a trigger and when the module receives a trigger, it switches it routes the input to the next output. That that can't be too hard, right? So um, this is by Mr. Lumps. I love that name. And this one is by Volt. So let's look them up. Uh, I already forgot what they're called. VCS1, boom, and ResComb. So I think these are the outputs here. Are these the triggers? What does this do? Maybe this allows you to, uh, let's see. Oh, maybe this is for like signal input and this is, oh yeah, that's the audio input and this is the, the gate trigger. Duh. So let's just get a random like triggery thing. Oh, there's this device called button. I saw that looked like a big button. That's exactly what I need. A little handy VCV rack tip is if you hold command and, uh, push on the outermost module, you can shift all of them this way. It's a big time saver. So let's see. Doesn't appear to be switching to the next output, if that's what these are. Um. Let's see, let's just connect this to the output. So we should, oh, here we go. It doesn't do anything if there isn't anything connected. That, that makes sense. Duh. Okay, that's really easy. So we have, um, a sequential switch, which I know what that is now. Thank you very much. And, um, and a comb filter. So those are two very small building blocks of any kind of synthesizer setup. So what could be a single third module that could tie this all together? Um, I think I'm going to go think about it off camera because that's going to take a while and not be that fun to watch. So I'll be right back. I thought now would be a good time to have an aside about comb filters and what they are exactly. A comb filter is just a filter with many spaced notches that resembles a comb. They can be spaced apart differently to achieve different effects, and they're used in all kinds of signal processing technology like phasers or flangers or acoustic physical modeling synthesis. And it's also something that shows up unwanted in the real world when you have two identical signals like from two different speakers arriving at two slightly different times um, it creates a comb filter effect um, with the patterns of interference that happens with that slight delay but really the only thing we need to know about this for us is that a comb filter isn't like a high pass or low pass filter which you can attach to an envelope and use as a brightness control it's a bit more idiosyncratic than that it'll change the timbre of the sound but only when it's really resonant and not in the same way as a higher low pass or band pass filter um, the developer of rescomb even said rescomb is a weird effect which i in fact use more as an instrument than a filter so just to keep in mind that's what comb filters are okay i'm back so after some thinking i decided I'm going to go with the Mutable Instruments Marbles, or the Audible Instruments Random Sampler. And um, here's why. Well, with three modules as our limit, there's not that much we could do if we got, you know, another module that was just an oscillator, or another module that was just a mixer. Like, we would need more. We need something that triggers, something that acts as input for the sequential switch, and eight different things to route it to. And um, we don't really have that much. So I wanted to choose a module that has a lot to offer and the marbles is very deep and has a lot of functionality to it. And remember that the only goal is to make a sound. So anyway, I figured that something from the T section will trigger the sequential switch. Maybe we'll just do T2 and then 
X2 is the CV or the audio input. I'm going to use this as a as a way to throw this CV to different parameters of this filter, I guess. So like um, voltage per octave, um, the comb position, I think that's what that is, and feedback. And I think if the feedback is high enough, this could self oscillate and become an oscillator. So I guess I need some input, don't I? Or I could just turn the feedback way up. Well, let's just gingerly plug this in and hope that we don't get blasted. I don't hear anything yet. So yeah, let's plug in. Um, let's turn up the range. You know, this might not work, this this idea I had. Oh, here we go. So it seems like we can just use the trigger with, all, with the feedback way up to kind of create an oscillating sound. And the voltage per octave is controlled by X2 on marbles. And let's get this smooth random output of Y as our audio input for this sequential switch. And let's use T1 to switch between. So this is pretty funky weird. Alright, so here we have it. Episode 2 completed. We have three modules, the marbles, the sequential switch from, what was it, Mr. Lumps, and Volt Rescomb. And what's happening here is we're actually just taking the trigger output from marbles and um, adding a bunch of feedback, turning it into this bass frequency sound. And the sequential switch is only using two of its outputs, flip-flopping between those two to send the Y modulation from marbles to the comb position and the feedback of the res comb. And of course we could actually add more modulation here, like we could switch and uh, you could have one sequential switch that told uh, the system which sequential switch to send it to and um, all sorts of stuff so it's not the most fantastic sound but uh, what I learned from this is that sequential switches are pretty interesting and um, for some reason I just didn't know what they were that much before this so I consider that a success so thanks for watching I'm going to keep making these because I think they're fun and quick. So, yeah, let me know if you have any requests for DCV Rack content.